Hey guys, it's Red Bulma TV here, and I'm just going to make a quick video. Just, you know, the Dragon Ball Super finale is coming up, so I thought I would give, or finale, I thought I would give my official prediction for my exact layout of how I think this um, episode will go. Now, there's, there's only literally a couple seconds left in the Dragon Balls, in the Tournament of Power. So, in Dragon Ball time, that could go for forever, for all we know. But, Goku says at the uh, end of the preview for Dragon Ball Super 131 that they still have um, a card to play. And that card is the numbers game. Because if you finish with the most people, more people than any other team, then you win and you succeed and you go on. So I would I would guess this fight is going to last for half the episode, if not just a little bit more, because they have so much to wrap up at the end. I was expecting the fight to kind of end at the end of last episode. I thought they'd kill it there, but they didn't. So I think they're just going to carry it out for another half an episode, maybe a little bit more, get a little bit more fight scenes, even though Goku isn't going uh, Mastered Ultra Instinct. It's still going to be a fun thing to see those three try to hold off a weakened but still wicked powerful Jiren. I think that will last for about half, a little bit more. But I think someone is going to get knocked out. They have to knock someone out during that. And I think that is going to be Android 17. I just think it's more interesting to have Goku and Frieza fighting together through their past than it is to have Android 17 and Goku together. Because you know Goku's going to last. Goku has to. I would be very surprised if he wasn't one of the last two to move on or continue fighting. And they also released that shot of uh, Goku and Frieza um, flying through the air. It looks like they're about to attack for, uh, Jiren together. So it, ma it makes me believe uh, number 17 is going to get knocked out at some point, which sucks because he just came back after being gone, like supposedly dead for so long. That's what we were led to believe. And, uh, yeah, so that that's definitely what's going to happen, if you ask me, in the first, you know, half, a little bit more. And I don't think Jiren is going to get knocked off. Besides 17, I don't expect anybody else to get knocked off. I don't think they're powerful enough anymore. Goku in his base form, and even Golden Frieza is not powerful enough those two together to take down a weakened but still incredibly powerful Jiren. They're just strong enough to maybe hold off for those couple seconds. So that's how I think that will go. That that takes us just a little bit past the halfway point. And that's me being generous because I suspect the most they'll do with the fight, or at least the most they should do, because there's only, literally only a couple seconds left, is... Uh, at most, please just make it the first half because there's so much shit they have to tie up. They have to tell us about the Super Dragon Balls, stuff going back on Earth. They're probably going to revive a ton of people from the other universes. We've got to bring back Universe 6, all this. I want to see Kappa. I, I'm hoping maybe we can see Vegeta go to the uh, same world in Universe 6, but I just doubt that will happen. I think that's too much stuff to happen in one episode. Maybe we'll get that in the movie. Maybe we'll get that in the... Dragon Ball Super comes back, supposedly, in 2019, hopefully. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that is going to happen. Um, I, I'm hoping the fight only lasts for half the episode max. And But I, I suppose maybe the climax of the episode, like, they'll cut it when the really, like, important thing's about to happen, and then they'll just finish it off at the beginning of the second half of the episode. So, yeah, that's that's that, I guess. And then they'll immediately go into the um, wishes with the Super Dragon Balls. They'll, well, after the fight ends, which my prediction is Goku and Frieza left, and then Jiren just is unable to finish them off. They're able to hold off just barely for those last couple seconds. Seventeen gets knocked off at some point, maybe sacrificing himself. So one of them doesn't get knocked off because he thinks they're more powerful than him at that point. So I, I don't know. That's just prediction. Universe 11 gets erased. Um, Goku and Frieza get a wish with the Super Dragon Balls. But since Goku has the most kills, 
I would guess that he would be able to make the Super Dragon Ball wish. So he would be able to wish back all the universes. I don't think, because I, I don't believe, you can only make one wish with the Super Dragon Balls, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So it, it'd be weird how they're going to split that up. But Goku is the guy who carried everybody almost, not carried, Vegeta did very well at all of that, but he took out a lot of the heavy, hit, heavy hitters besides uh, God of Destruction Topo. Took out Kefla. And he, he held off against Jiren. Without him fighting Jiren, everybody would have been gone already. Everybody would have been dead, and the universe would have been erased, and there would have been any challenge at all. So Goku does deserve the wishes. He'll wish back. Um, he'll wish back all the universes, is my guess, because I don't think it's in his character to just wish back Universe 6. And 11, because I think he wants to keep fighting with Jiren, because, you know, that's just in J uh, Goku's type. He's always wanted to fight and everything like that. He just wants to get better. That's literally his open, uh, that's literally his ultimate goal. And he has that pure heart. That's all he wants. And then Universe 6, because maybe Vegeta will tell him, like, I made this promise to this kid. Even though I didn't do it, please make it come true. And then Goku's just going to be like, all right, well, I'm not just wishing back two universes. Everybody come back. Which makes the tournament of power not that important, but at the same time, nobody would be back if Goku had won. So it, it, it is still kind of important. But the one thing that throws a wrench in that is there's a, there's a still image of uh, Jiren, no, not Jiren, Beerus crying. And I don't know what that would be possibly in reference to and what I just laid out as the episode what my prediction is for the episode because there, there really is like no point where Jiren would really where Beerus I keep saying Jiren where Beerus would really cry like it wouldn't be unless it's J Jiren shoots like a powerful shot at Goku and it looks like he's gonna get hit and knocked out because he once again is in his base form he can't really take an attack like that like a really powerful attack he can't really take and then still get back up and not get knocked out so maybe it's when 17 takes it. I just don't know. I don't know where Beerus is going to cry. And that's what kind of scares me. To think maybe. Maybe they don't win after all. Because Beerus is crying. It takes something really heavy. To make a god of destruction like Beerus to cry. So I, I, I just don't know where that would happen. But back to my prediction. I think they're going to. Now, this is a lot for a finale. They are cramming the fuck out of this finale. They really don't know where, like, how they're going to fit all this in because they have let this fight go on for so long, which I don't hate because last episode was so beautiful, and this episode is going to be just as beautiful with the fights. They have all their A-list animators in and everything. So, after the wish, I think they go meet Universe 6, and then at some point, Goku goes and talks to Jiren. And I think we get a hint. You know, we've already gotten kind of a hint with Jiren. You know, not wanting to knock off Goku right away and all that. Now, to be told a couple more times to actually do it, to follow through. That Jiren is going to start maybe believing in Goku's philosophy a little bit more. The fact that people should maybe trust in one another. And that you can't really just do everything all by yourself. you got to believe in other people sometimes. Love other people. Do all that. So that's that would be my prediction for the episode. Goku will make the Super Dragon Ball wish. He will wish back all the universes. And at some point, I think he will also talk to Zeno and be like, you know, we, we had, you had a lot of fun with this tournament, right? Well, we can do this more. Like, now that everybody's back, I know you want to do that because they're like, I think it was like the average... Like, rating was lower, like, three-something, or, like, if it wasn't, like, a seven, you had to fight in this tournament. So, I think if you explain it to Zeno that way, and Goku is his only friend that he, like, really loves besides himself from the future, it's, it'll, it'll work out. It'll be fine. They can easily just write that off. So yeah, I think that'll be the episode, just to recap. 
It will be the first half of the episode. We'll be fighting at least, or at most, I think that's what they should just stick with. Just at most make the first half fighting, if not make that shorter. But if you are going to the second half, do not make it long into the second half. Maybe like a minute or two. Just put the climax at the very end of the fight in the second half. That's what I'm hoping for. And then, you know, they make the wishes. Well, before that, you see Universe 11 go away. It's kind of sad. Um, and then everybody's over. The tournament ends. Da da da. Goku gets the wish, because I think that's how it would work. I don't. Know, I don't know. I don't remember them ever specifying how it would work if multiple people finish with Super Dragon Balls. But I would guess it would go by your amount contributed in the tournament, and that definitely goes to Goku, if you ask me. So Goku wishes back all the universes. He explains it to Zeno how it should be fine and everything. I think Zeno would be fine with it. And then Vegeta and the gang kind of go to Universe 6 after maybe going to Earth. Now, this is a lot. I know some of this is definitely not going to come true. Mainly, I think the part that's definitely that might not come true is them going to other universes because that, that, that takes a lot. That would be a lot of cramming, but in a perfect world, there would be. They go to Universe 6, they meet with Vegeta and all them. So yeah, so, I mean, uh, Kappa's same world planet. So yeah, that's my video today. Um, I'll probably be making another Dragon Ball video maybe later. But thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.